water. It's me. No. You may be wondering why would I be playing a, an odd game like this. Well, I was just on Game Jolt and I saw one of the posts by the developer of Day Shift at Freddy's. Very good game, very fun, absolutely hilarious. Go watch a series on it. I don't have one of my own channel, so you're gonna have to look elsewhere. But this, this is the free. The, the demo is out in Steam at the moment. It's called Dial Town because he uses the same characters as Day Shift at Freddy's. I just realised now this per there's a person on the head's a laptop. Amazing. This is going to be a blast. So, yeah. Just wanna go in the options. Oh. Just turn down. Put, I'll put them to 50. See how that goes. Uh. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, um. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So, got it started. Let's use the same characters as Day Shift at Freddy's. Right, so. F4 toggle full screen. That would be. That would have been useful. When I, you know, wasn't able to record this using OBS. Hello. Hello to you, sir. Welcome to the Donald Trump phone dating some demo. You must now answer this hardness question three. Uh any particular reason you're speaking in all caps shots. Oh. <laughs> Just shots. Well, I guess I'm three dots. All right. Anywho, what's your name? Phone Genji. Nah. Gonna have to go with. Old sport. Really? That's your name. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's no further comments on this time. Anywho, second question. Are you more of a phone or a typewriter? Those are some beat up looking models. Like they're, they're literally stitched together. Oh they're, sti oh, they're stitched together. Okay. Note this choice changes your appearance and some of the possible routes you can take, but your head is not, doesn't necessarily determine your gender. I think I have to choose how you refer to it in dialogue next question. I'm more of a typewriter guy myself, because I actually have a typewriter. Also, what are those K's? Like... Nectar? <laughs> What? Like, I don't think I'm capturing my cursor right now, but if you look closely, it says Nectar. I need space. As far as I need some space. Yeah, I'll be a typewriter. Hello. Haha, <laughs> nice. Enjoy having to use your own head to write a sm <laughs> Having to use your own head to write smartphone. 
<laughs> Just to be able to afford the occasional glass of turnip. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, no, I'll, I changed my mind. I want to go back. So I'm just <laughs> Amazing. I've never wanted a fuzz box. <laughs> A fire before. <laughs> now I final question. Uh now this determines your pronouns and doesn't define anything except for how people are facing dialogue. What's your gender dynamic? <laughs> Yo, can I be flippin' uh qu <laughs> rainbow question mark? No, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the mailman. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, enjoy having the innate ability to open pickle jars, I guess! <laughs> oh, I'm like crying right now. <laughs> oh, why did I find this game so funny? Thanks, Daddy Duck. <laughs> what did I say about calling me? Alright then, get out of my sight. I don't think he likes me very much. I think he might want to kill me. Hmm. Hold on, so... I just gotta know, is, is this made in a visual novel engine? Or... A different engine? Because, like, I don't think Dead Shift and Freddy's was made in a visual novel engine. I think... I think this might be... I think this might have been made in Rampai. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea how it works, to be fair. Darn. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. Recently cracks or something. this game? Oh. The time for reproduction is now. I must... <laughs> oh wait, there's eyes in there! Oh no. I must find a dank dark pit to my head in. I'm a typewriter, what am I doing? Fair ground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food, carnival food nearby. Yes. I'm dreading what comes next. Oh, I must go to the carnival. I'm, I'm dreading what this car what my character will say next. Like. <laughs> what? Well, I'm a typewriter called Old Sports, so. I think. Like when I put it when I put an old sport was the reaction that the dog that that dog had was that a reference to you know Day Shift at Freddy's or does it does it do that for every name that you put in because it's obviously that bad I don't know well there we have it the carnival so close yet so far must gain entry. Must penetrate the fences of high, of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile. <laughs> okay, I, I am aware I sound like a very a deranged cattle every time I laugh. But still, it's just, just I didn't expect it to be this funny. <laughs> Thought it would have been a bit more serious than Dash of Praise, but this is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, darn you, narrator, need lay eggs. Well, you could always, you know, go through the mid gate. A plan so crazy it just might work. What is my character like? Why is he so weird? Two for one, no refunds. Please don't bang in the glass, it scares Jerry. 
I'm guessing this must be Jerry. That is a, that is a nice looking phone, by the way. Greetings, take a buffoon. My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Terry of Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do you have a ticket, sir? No, it's fine. I don't want to pass by any of your rights this year. <laughs> what? <laughs> I simply wish to find a fat at to live my accent. <laughs> okay, definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats. How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge. I have zero dollars. <laughs> Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tale stories and other such whimsical parables and payments? <laughs> what is this game? Like... What? I love it so much, but what? No, no, I would not. Oh shoot, I was so close to it. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that creep who lives in the tent next to the playground at the park? Oh no, my cover has been pulled. Look, sir, I'm only telling you this because your statue's just gonna drive away more seals from you standing here, and if I don't, it's Valentine's Day today. Uh, Valen what? Okay, I'm just gonna be oblivious. Sure. I, what, what's Valentine's Day? Valen what? It's a day designed for, by the chapel slash forest industry for single dads drink a bottle of gin for dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Designed by the Chapel Towers Company, where single dads drink a bottle of gin for dinner. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Wait, what am I explaining this to you? You're fairly sentient. Hiss. Look, hissing and drunken, and drunken single dads aside, Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in. Whoa! Whoa, what in God's green earth is that? Is this love fair <laughs> type of feeling? I don't really do those things. <laughs> Alright, uh, sure. This one. Well, sorta. Love is what happens when two grown-ups uh, when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on ro romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and na nectars. I have nectar on my head. I literally have the word nectar on my head because I'm a paper typewriter. When two grown ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. <laughs> and then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever. Go, Mari Steve. Guy who kind of or who works in the same cubicle as you and makes six percent more per year than you and, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. I think Je I think Jerry is speaking from experience. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today, just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay in like a parasite? Granted, I'd, t I'd take a real bastard <laughs> mission acquired. Oh. Gosh, freaking. Must source <laughs> uh, Okay, why, why every time. Why is it every time I laugh, I sound like a deranged cat? Away from here. Okay, amigo and I. Just you see, Mr. Jerry Tech, I'll be back with us working on it. Hey, Jerry, are you any uh, chance of free on Valentine's Day? Okay, so I'm cut off, so. I think I'll just. I will call the cops! <laughs> Rate lost.
second game end. Oh, are you kidding me? Darn it. Scott Lowe. I, I lost the route with Jerry. No. I'm sad. Jerry was my favourite waifu. My absolute favourite waifu. What kind of phone is that? Well, chapter one, the fun fair day. What kind of phone is that, to be fair? Don't think I've seen one like that. This is really laggy because my laptop's pretty crappy. Ah, tent, sweet tent. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto you like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving even when necessary. Can't I just lay my eggs here? Great stuff. Let's go lay these eggs. Ugh, do I have to? Yeah, it seems a general bodily motion will be a necessity today. Sorry about that. Ah, frick. Leave your tent, open menu, give up on your love. Uh, no, give up on your love quest. Give up. Uh. Uh. Frick it, Farago. Back to the slaughter then. Uh. Behold, the optionals. Coward. Back to main menu. Uh. Save your game if there's anything worth saving. Refresh inspirational quote. Refresh the inspirational quote at the top of the screen. Well, maybe something a bit more family friendly. Today, at a bowl of porridge, drank a bottle of gin and wept. Tomorrow, I might change up the order <laughs> by direct dog man. Oh, that's, that's the dev. Uh, L1. Just, just making sure it's saved. Alright, so... Alright, so... Leave the tent. Where would you like to go? Actually, scratch that. To the park, to the nearby playground. Oh boy, am I gonna pick up some... <laughs> okay, I sh probably shouldn't say that. Oh, there's football. Ah, the playground. As long as you stay exactly 25 feet from the perimeter of the zone of merriment, you shouldn't be legally pros prosecutable. So, what now? Leave the playground. Open menu. Measure the ground. Summon a nearby kid. Alas, your only form of intel. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's why it's grayed out. Oh, okay. I guess we'll measure the ground. Exactly 25.05 feet away. Perfect. <laughs> you know, that would be a good time to reflect on child labor laws and why you're no longer legally allowed so close to this playground. In the first place, shots. <laughs> I refuse to learn any lessons. Rightio. Well, summon a nearby kid. Alas, your only form of intel. Childer, childer. Come gather round, childer. Oh, what's it? Oh, it's a phone. Oh, that's it. Hey, Bozo, can I help you? Child. Yeah, I am a child. I'm a child, what of it? I'm four foot seven, smell like grass, despite never touching it due to me having grass. I'll put my phone, and I take crystal meth licorice flavors. <laughs> Kids grow up so fast nowadays. <laughs> Why, I remember when I was your age. A mere hatchling. Why am I tail haven't <gasps> even grown yet? Is my character a, a typewriter furry? I'm gonna stay away from Deviant Art in case I find out about typewriter furries. Okay, scary gr okay, scary green man. Say, aren't you not allowed to get uh, within 25 feet of this here playground? Jokes on you, you've already stunned this. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, crap, Lord. <clears throat> Much better. I measured the, the ground before summoning you. I'm just within an irresponsibly marginal, but still legal, distance. Ha. Huh. You're less than 25 feet away from me, though. Uh, n uh, uh. We learned about two digit numbers in school yesterday, so your reptile breed bollocks won't work on me this time, Bowser. Well, double jokes on you, little screws. <laughs> the law says that I can't get within 25 feet of the playground. Not the little screws contained within its conf confines. Technically, he approached me. I win. So, if I go back to the slide, you can't talk to me without shouting. Okay, see you later then. No, please, no, I need intel. If this is a question about the birds and bees, then I'm sorry, but my dad got really angry when I asked him about that for you. <laughs> Turns out crap gets nasty when <laughs> I should stop sounding like a cattle when birds uh frick. What that no, it's not that question this time. What do I mean this time? Then, what is it? Can you pay me into the fun fair? What are the new cool what are the new cool words? So what do you kids eat? Nah frickin' done with you, you're nah frickin' I'm done, you you're dismissed child. Can you pay me in uh, uh what are the new cool words? Oh man, cool is the new drill. Okay. What you need are some quality slurs. Uh, uh, No, I'm sure you all know the popular ones like calling it. Uh, I like calling an inexperienced drug salesman a lot and it were referring to a slightly unfamiliar dog is great. No, I am confused. But the mighty slur of all Krugus <laughs> Krugus. It's like a cheat code. Instead of unlocking an extra life or more money, it just unlocks your particularly painful death. <laughs> Krungus. No, I don't even remember what it was a Krungus. Awful, thanks for sharing. My pleasure, green one. Little boy. And what else do you want? Say, so, what do you kids eat? Are you trying to lure more kids away to clean your tent again? <laughs> Wait, hold on, how does he... No. <laughs> That's a lie. You are, aren't you? Yes. Now answer the question you previewed us. <laughs> <laughs> you creepy person. Uh, crap, I can't say there's no other words else I'm gonna get struck, struck down. Well, personally, I an exclusive diet of glitter modeling, of glitter, modeling clay, flavored milk, and chicken nuggets, like most kids my age. <laughs> modeling clay. You wanna write those down? I can't really write. Oh, because you don't have a pen? Sure. Oh, the lie worked. Home dog. Slice man. What else do you want, then? Can you pay me into the fun fair? Are you seriously begging from children now? Have you sunk that low? How does this kid know me? No, it was a jest. I merely. Ha no, it was a jest. Merely a hilarious joke. I was always capable of such things. It's no lower than I. I was always capable of such things. There is no lower than I can, that I can sink to now. Keep starting on like, keep tripping over words. Sure, I guess, but like, I'm a literal child. You think I have money? Don't play dumb with me, Billy. You juveniles. <laughs> Craps. I know your dad gives you pocket money for doing your weekly chores. Cough up the money or your kneecaps. <laughs> I bite. Okay, I forgot the threatened part. I bit off more than I can chew. This child doesn't even have a mouth. How can- Come on, man. I'm desperate. I need somewhere damp and moist to lie my ass. <laughs> okay, I'll stop you right there. I have $2.07 to my name. Which, which you'd only offer, 
awkward. One second. Ah, got castle off to abandon kids then. No, see, there's a two for one Valentine's offer on. Oh, come on, you can't just give me your money. This character is like a massive pedo. Yeah, for couples, bozo. Stop thinking like a cryptid and think like a civilized person. <laughs> I can be imprisoned in a grown up jail. Alright, uh, clap. What was that noise? What's that crap? Keep thinking, bozo. Sorry, pal, but you gotta make it on your own. I understand. Mech. Uh, nah, frick it, I'm done, you're dismissed, child. Do I, I do have a name, you know. Yeah, and I don't care to learn it. A little bit. Be gone, stunted one. Alright, later, Bozo. Can I summon the same... Can I summon a different child? I'll go to the... Uh... To the park. Beautiful. Ah, to the park. You can go and roll around in a nice spring grass unless you mind getting a few discarded syringes stuck in your- What? Is everyone here a drug dealer? Or a drug addict? So I know. I'm gonna lie down in the grass. Time for- It's relaxation time, friendos. You have friends. Shut. Ah, isn't this just tranquil? It really is quite serene, yes. It's good to get away from the big city. I accidentally opened my name. You're the one the one you're only like two yards further away from. Yeah, the peacefulness really helps on clutch. <laughs> Yeah, the peacefulness really helps uncleanse the old sphincter <laughs> Alright. Sure. Why don't I do this more often? Well, usually the grassroots laden with paint syringes and other unmentionables. Well, it's a good thing that... What the frick? What the f What the frick? Yeah, frick, my arm, my arm, oh gosh, oh frick, oh crap, oh no. Ouch, yeah, I think I can see a scratch or two. Alright, this is why I hate nature and crap. Well, technically, syringes are completely not me and you, and you select silence narrator. Yeah. You might want to find a band aid or tent for a few little scrapes if you can. Hey, you're penless and the band aids don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, but ye syringes grow in fields? <laughs> How is that even remotely fair? Oh, shut up, you weighted crater. Yes. Come on back to the park, park we go then. That's disgusting. Uh, leave the area. Where, where would you like to go? To Uptown Dial Town. I guess I'm going to Uptown Dial Town. Ah, Uptown Dial Town. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in Downtown Dial Town. Oh, with a rainbow effect. So what now? Someone a local hobo. <laughs> yes, please. Hobo of Dial Town, I summon thee. <laughs> local hobo. Local hobo slash amateur game developer. <laughs> it's just direct art. <laughs> Yo. Sorry, need to Yo. Hey, nice to meet you, kid. My name's Howard. You need something? Are you indeed a hobo? Well, 
yeah, <laughs> two bits and dumpsters, sleeping alleys and such. Yeah, no, Hobo ain't my main gig. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. I created everything around you right now and fought it out from the cosmos and the stars and crap. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. Much like if the developer, like, that kind of voice, like, I don't know, a jazz musician voice? I don't know. Those things are virtually exclusive, little buddy. So if you're God, then how did you end up creating everything? You ever like to leave a takeout box in the corner of your room you've got the bin box? Or need to find a new species evolved? And the remains of your check and tag curry from the last one? This one is my takeout box, and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon it. Infinite possibility in disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Are you what is your favorite hobby? You've ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? I don't recommend it, but it's but still, I don't don't knock it till you try it. I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. <laughs> gravel. What are you, some kind of weirdo? At least for the normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. I like broken glass and shiny rock. Or like, see, there we go. Are you, are you drunk right now? Is it 11 a.m. yet? I'm awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. And I'm indeed moments away from severe <laughs> liver. liver. What's the meaning of life then? All really philosophical questions. You want me to come up with a reason for all this existence? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. I probably ate trash no one made. So can you like come up with the meaning of life right now? You'll come up with the meaning of life. To be fair to this character, it's probably learning children how to clean his tent and laying eggs in a funfair. It'd probably be a million times more coherent than what I could think of. The meaning of life is to treat other people nicely. No, that is incorrect. I think the meaning of life is to eat or be eaten. Life's really game, dear hobo. I think life's no meaning like your fellow crap. Kind of stuck between the two middle ones. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really stuck between these two middle ones. Middle ones. M middle ones. This is wasting a lot of time, but... Yeah, this one's better. I want my character to be deranged as possible, to be as deranged as possible. That's the spirit. I'm sure that if you weren't meant to devour everything around you, I want to credit everyone to be made entirely out of food. It's kill or be killed. I know. It, oh, okay, I'm not gonna read that. Okay, wait. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I'm loving this idea. But, please don't freaking cactus out of the assumption that you don't. Not if you don't break it, it'll break you first. <laughs> or actually, maybe do. I'm curious. I kinda wanna see what will happen. Aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing on the road? What is a traffic cop to a god? Most traffic cops hold more power than you, you know what? What is a god to a non <laughs>
believe her. Honestly, no trust for dear pal. I don't really believe myself either, to be frank. Well, you're not frank. I don't think so. Oh, punch God. You fool. I am a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? I... Okay, I bet... <laughs> okay, I could have just crapped myself. You win this round, green one. Can you pin me into the fun fair? <laughs> Don't you got sex chains while you're while you're a smelly hobo dog? Yeah, that, and I'm just too stubborn to live anyway that I didn't create myself. You forgot, didn't you create everywhere? Well, plants, trees, and crap out anywhere outside. Yeah, I can take credit for that, sure. Buildings, concrete. Don't know what you. Frickin' onions are doing with a rock, but it's plus we don't care too much about it at all. We sleep on the street. It's hardly more trees less plants on the street than then. Let's say uh, the park. You ever try to lie down in the park? I swear the bench there's only human light surface area not covered in new syringes and patch <laughs> You know I'm right. Less concrete to sell. There's dumpsters are plenty around here. Free food whenever you feel like. Long gone are the days where cavemen would have to hunt squirrels and stone crossbows whenever they got packers. Raccoons have already figured this out, by the way. And literally just scurry around in trash all day. Yeah, they're officially macho to people. You guys could learn a thing to two foot from a real stripey bear. Hmm. No, it I got to go. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? Go lay me some eggs. Actually, I'm heavily <laughs> pregnant. Go to fetch child sport to that witch I wasted 10 years of my life with. I've merely gone tired of you. Go lay me eggs. Oh, hey. You know those reptile fans that I met a few million or so years ago? I'm not judging, just say, Frick, you guys are weird. Good luck conquering the human race and whatnot, though. Don't let us see it coming. Ciao. Oh, God, I'm going to talk to you about a storm, though. Oh, a flip phone. How do you, green partner? Mikey. The name's Mikey, which is short for him. Actually, scratch that. Market works just fine. Him and him's old sport. Me old sport. Me old sport. Hello. Well, pleasure to make pleasure to make your acquaintance, partner. So, what can I do? What can I do you for in this fine spring afternoon? Oh, whoa, <laughs> can you take me to the phone fire, please? It's time for me to scout up. Oh, whoa, can you take me to the phone fire, please? Ah, shucks, partner. I would, don't get me wrong. But, alas, I'm actually on my way to books, I'm... You're looking at Dial Town's newest best-selling writer. That's fine, man, is where you're trying to use you for free tickets. I'm basically trying to scam soccer and paying me into the phone fire. I'm just a sponge, you see. Mere lichen. Pond scum. Well, now. Ain't that a coinky drink? <laughs> a coinky drink. Oh, my best service after the meal. 
all my best sounds happen to be about parasites of all kind. You won't find a man who knows more about parasite, pars, parasitism in all of Dial Town, pardon me. Okay, I think the I think the accent is starting to just break a little bit. Let me know what I can do you for, cause any longer and I'll be running tardy. 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 Okay. Say what you're there spoken about. My current books are all about people parasites. Like we low me. No, people, you know. Flash colored by beetle critters. Flash colored means nothing to me. Flash can be different colors. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a green man for what? Can't say I've ever seen in green though, partner. I, I mean I mean Parasites, when to move out? Your mom just I suppose you want to copy me latest book, would you? Uh, are there pictures in it? Sure are, partner. At least one per chapter. Are there words that I have to read? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is a book. Pass. Pass. Hard pass. Well, shucks. Can't say I didn't try. Do that then, partner. And Mike, you give me a parasite fart. You know, there's a whole world of screwed up critters out there, and I love all of it. You know, there's a critter out there, a little acid called the tongue lass that lives in the ocean, and oh boy! It crawls into a fish's mouth, mouth rips off the fish's tongue, and becomes its new tongue. I've actually heard of that parasite. Obviously, that's pretty real. Sounds, sounds like something I totally do. Thanks for the fact, my insides feel that she knows you. And it's out, partner. You're into parasites. Uh, are you into me? So, if you're into parasites, uh, are you into me? Well, no offense, but I find you mildly upset me gawk at. I'm taking like that a lot. So, though, if you happen to have, say, a few tapeworms wriggling around that old gun ears, give me a call. I'm starting to... This guy, Mikey's now starting to creep me out. If you do, there might be some free acid grub in it for you. It's kinda edible. What kind of creature do you take me for, huh? Yeah, I look like you'd probably eat what I have in my bag. Totally right, I would. Is it, is it kibble? Not <laughs> some? Call me later. Bye now, bye now. For now, is that all? Time for me to scoff off the letters. Right on then. Sayonara, partner. Well, wasn't that fun? Well, that was the demo. Oh, okay. So that was part of that. It said in the description it's a few hours long, so it might make more than one episode. I don't know. I probably won't, to be fair. It might get too lazy. But that was some of the demo for Dial Town, a game by Direct Dogman, the same person who made Dash of Freddy's. Uh, I, I'm fair. I'm quite certain that other people have already made videos on it at the moment. So just gonna have to check that because I'm usually never the first person to get onto it. I'm never ever the first person to get into a topic or trend or whatever. But uh, go watch like, I don't know, if you want to watch a series of like Day Shift Freddy's because, you know, same developer as this, uh, go watch like Doco or Rip It Ran or something. I don't know, I, I won't be recording the game, it doesn't run too well on my laptop. And with that said, all that done and dusted, I'll see you in the next video, whichever one I decide to make.